Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We get a number of people that come in here, um, well, actually children that come in here with issues regarding their ear. They're getting uh, ear infections. And um, uh, the current treatment of choice for ear infections is uh, a course of antibiotics or um, uh, basically a course of antibiotics or drops for their ears or something like that to help alleviate the, the, the what's going on in their ears. But if you look at the anatomy, what we usually do in here for uh, children with uh, ear pain or ear infections, if you look at the anatomy over here, if you can check it out, this is this is the uh, ana this is the adult um, skull here, and if you look at this is the mastoid process, and this is the ear right here uh, where the ear would be. If you look at this red tube right here, this is the eustachian tube of the adult, and you see how it kind of points down. So bacteria and stuff that uh, sometimes can uh, build up here in the mastoid uh, air cells and within the inner ear itself can kind of escape out the eustachian tube because it's pointed downward. However, in an infant and little kids, I don't know if you can see that, um, in infant little kids, this is the infant. If you look at the configuration, these are the mastoid air cells, and this is the inner ear right here, the middle ear cavity. You can see the eustachian tube kind of is more horizontal, even pointing upwards. So that's why you see a lot of kids, um, infants, and uh, uh, pediatric uh, patients of ours have issues with the, uh, getting infection in their ear because of that configuration of that eustachian tube's point upwards. So what's happening is that bacteria can't escape all the way. So in just a second here, um, I'm going to have Dr. K come in here and I'm going to show you a thing that you can do to your uh, kids and or infants to help prevent um, that, that backflow of bacteria in through there and what's giving them those ear infections and hopefully get them away from having to take a bunch of course of antibiotics all the time uh, uh, or uh, at worst case scenario to put a tube um, go under surgery and put a tube into their ear because uh, that's another treatment of choice that they that they that they um, recommend when you're getting chronic ear infections and stuff and then unfortunately what happens when you get a chronic uh, uh, chronic ear infections over time you get scar tissue in there uh, within the middle ear and even you know sometimes permanent hearing loss or dysfunction in that ear. So anyway, in just a second here, I'm going to have Dr. K step in. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, a way to help alleviate um, uh, and help restore some of that function in, in the ear. All right, we got uh, Dr. K in here now. And uh, we're going to show you a way, because like we were talking about on that chart, is the eustachian tube. Uh, for an infant kind of points uh, upward a little bit like this with, with my pen is a eustachian tube it's either horizontal or even upward and then that bacteria can't um, escape very well and then that's why kids and infants get that chronic uh, sometimes it's chronic ear infections so this is a, a technique that you can do at home to help alleviate some of that um, issue in there, help bring that eustachian tube pointing downward a little bit. We too, you know, if you, uh, if, uh, if, I don't know if you guys see a chiropractor or whatever, but uh, we are trained in being able to adjust that, that ear. Uh, there's a maneuver that we do, that's a quick maneuver that we put on the ear uh, to help open up that eustachian tube really quickly. So, but this is something that you can do at home to uh, facilitate um, uh, the draining. draining of the eustachian tube. Thank you. Draining of the eustachian tube. Uh, so that way it helped prevent some of those ear infections that your kid may be um, experiencing. So what you do basically is, remember the eustachian tube is either horizontal or points upward like this. So what we're trying to do is we're facilitating bringing that eustachian tube downward. So as you can see, I'm taking Dr. K's earlobe and I'm gently massaging it downward. You may even have to use a little bit of lotion or uh, coconut oil, so that way it's not discomforting for your little one. And again, this is gentle. So you can kind of see as I'm doing this here, I'm bringing the ear downward, and you can see Dr. K is starting to fall asleep because this is very relaxing. 
Uh, this, you shouldn't apply a whole lot of pressure on the ear. This is more of like an ear massage. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm just going downward. So starting up, going downward, up, downward, and you're just getting that opening up that eustachian tube, gently trying to facilitate it to point downward. Now, how often do you do this? If your kid is getting frequent uh, ear infections, you should be probably doing this, especially cold and flu season, uh, this time of year, you should be doing this daily, you know, for three to five minutes. You know, just sit down with them. You can do both ears at the same time, so you can kind of, you know, do a little bit. Uh, if you turn around this way, Dr. K. So you can kind of do both ears at the same time and feel it downward, uh, just like this. And you know, obviously your kid, if they're an infant, they're not gonna know what's going on. But if you're just gentle enough with them, they'll get used to you doing this and it feels really, really good for them. Just a nice gentle massage downward for uh, on their earlobe to facilitate movement of debris or bacteria in the eustachian tube. So, Start up, work your way down. Again, it's just gentle, and you can see Dr. K starting to fall asleep a little <laughs> bit in and through here. But yeah, this is a nice, gentle thing that you can do to help open up that eustachian tube for your child. Now, if they're getting chronic, like I said, if they're getting chronic ear infections, uh, the, the best thing would be to do a daily type of regimen, about three to five minutes if um, just to help prevent those earaches. Obviously, take them to a chiropractor. Um, they could be having an issue with C1, uh, the atlas, the uh, first vertebra in the neck. And if that is uh, stuck in a certain configuration, sometimes that can interfere with function uh, at this part of the ear right there. So have them get adjusted as well as uh, the chiropractor if they're well um, uh, uh, versed or um, have that uh, training in that to help adjust the ear itself to open up that eustachian tube. So if you have any further questions, uh, feel free to drop them off in the comment section below. We thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Um, how does that feel? Pretty good? That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, drop them off in the comment section below. We thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share so that other people can benefit from this uh, video as well. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notifications button uh, so that way you don't miss any uh, videos as, we, as they come in here uh, in the near future. Again, we appreciate you watching. We, we'll see you next time. You take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.